Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to show you how to cover a basic drum shade. Now I've chosen my fabric for a couple of reasons. One, because the color in the fabric is pretty light and so the, the light, when the shade is on the lamp, the light will actually be able to penetrate the fabric somewhat so that I can get light not only up and down but I can get light from the side. If you have no problem with just getting up lighting or down lighting from your shade then don't worry about the, the color of the fabric too much. And another reason why I chose this fabric is because it goes nicely with the existing decor that I have. So you may want to consider choosing something that goes with the existing decor that you have. Then after choosing your fabric you are gonna measure the circumference of your shade. Now usually there is a C so you can start measuring the circumference from the seam at the back of your lamp and go all the way around. Now my jump shade, the top and the bottom are the same circumference so make sure you measure both ends to make sure that they're the same circumference before you start cutting your fabric. Now the circumference of this shade is 41 inches. What you're going to do is add an inch to your measurement to allow for the overlap at the back of the lamp. So uh, in this case I'll add one inch. So it's going to be 42 inches and then the next measurement you're going to need is the height of your, your shade. And here the height is nine and a half inches. For the circumference we added one inch. For the height we're going to add two inches. One inch for the top and one inch for the bottom. So that will be 11 and a half inches. Okay so then you cut your fabric to that measurement. The circumference would be 41 plus 1, 42 inches and 11 and a half inches for the height. So you would cut your fabric 42 inches wide and 11 and a half inches. A key thing that you want to do is to make sure you iron your fabric before you apply it to the shade because the last thing you want to do is apply the fabric to the shade and then you see creases all over the fabric now to the apply shade. the fabric to the shade usually I use my glue gun but what I'm using today is just double-sided tape so put your double-sided tape inside of the shade along the top and the bottom where the fabric is going to overlap and make sure it's insecurely before you peel the strip off. We'll also need to put some double sided tape along the seam at the back of the shade because this is where the fabric is going to overlap so you will need the tape at the back also. And make sure it's securely in place before you start peeling the strip off the tape. There we go. The next step will be to start applying your fabric. So line your fabric up with the seam at the back just so it's very straight. And just do like this to get the fabric to stick to the double-sided tape. 
and by the way you're going to make sure when you line the fabric up you have enough at both ends so that when we're finished applying it around then we're going to tuck all this fabric that's left inside the, the shade. Your next step is to fold the excess fabric to the inside where the double sided tape will hold the fabric in place on the inside of the shade. Go right around and then you do the same thing at the bottom. Now on the inside here where the fabric overlaps, you just get a little piece of double sided tape and put on the fabric and just push the fabric down to hold it in place, both at the top and the bottom. And there we have it. Our drum shade is all covered up. found this video useful. Until next time, for all my decor ideas and tips, please subscribe to my channel and visit my website at verndecor.com.